Hello everyone, this is Oishi and you are watching the Sun and I show. If you are new in the channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated and hit the thumbs up because we are here for promoting our hobby. We are back this week with our new topic. Yes, as you have already read it, it's about loop antenna. So let's get started. So as I already said that the topic for the day is loop antenna. So let's get start with it. Index. What is loop antenna? We will know its definition. 2. Types of loop antenna. How many loop antennas are there? 3. Small loop antenna. 4. Large loop antenna. 5. Properties of loop antenna. What are its properties? Structure of loop antenna. How it looks? 7. Radiation pattern in loop antenna. How it radiates energy? 8. Polarization of loop antenna. 9. Advantages of loop antenna. 10. Disadvantages of loop antenna. And 11. Applications of loop antenna. What are its application we will see. What is a loop antenna? A loop antenna is a radio antenna consisting of a loop or coil of wire or other electrical conductor that is usually fed by a balanced source or feeding or load. It can be made into different shapes as circle, triangle, square, rectangle, etc. So when we talk about loop antenna, it simply means a conductor in loop and we made it by a simple wire. We, fed, we feed it by coaxial cable or any transmission line. So let us draw some some shapes of loop. Uh, let me show you. So I am drawing a square. Uh, this whole structure is made by just a wire. Similarly we will draw the other shapes. Drawing on screen is a bit hard. Circle. And here we have our triangle. Just imagine it's a triangle. So it, they all are made by a simple wire. And here what we feed it. It has an inner conductor and it has an outer conductor. Similarly, for the other shapes, it's also applicable. It has an inner conductor. It has an outer conductor. The points drawn on the outside of the feet are the external conductor. And the points drawn on the inside of the feet are the internal conductors. So, in case of loop, it is not mandatory, it has to be in a definite shape. It can be of any shape. You can even go beyond a circle, triangle, square, rectangle, anything you want. Types of loop antenna. Loop antenna is of two types. They are small loop antenna, large loop antenna. They are the basic, like basically there are only two and these are the two. So, let us first discuss about small loop antenna. Small loop antenna. When the overall length of loop is less than or equal to lambda by 10, it is called small loop antenna. They are less resonant but used as receivers. If the overall length or circumference of wire in loop will be less than and equal to lambda by 10, where lambda is the wavelength, then it is a small loop antenna. They are less resonant but act as good receivers. Large loop antenna. So now let us discuss about large loop antenna. When the overall length of loop is about or equal to lambda, it is called large loop antenna. It is highly directional and self resonant, used for both transmission and reception. If the overall length or circumference will be about or equal to lambda, 
where lambda is wavelength then it is a large loop antenna it is a self resonant means it can increase its amplitude by itself and suitable for both transmission and reception properties now we will see the properties of loop antenna and as there are two different loop antennas their properties will also vary properties of small loop antenna null at the plane of loop let me explain this one so this is going to be the top view of our loop antenna and this is going to be the side view of our loop antenna so here here will be null perpendicular so here null will be perpendicular to the plane of the loop and due to less radiation resistance its radiation efficiency is also less now let's know the properties of large loop antenna radiates to the plane of loop let me explain this one again suppose this is the top view of our loop and this is the side view the large loop antenna radiates perpendicular to its plane in small loop antenna null is perpendicular to the plane and in large loop antenna it radiates to the plane perpendicular to the plane relatively high radiation resistance it has high radiation resistance structure of loop antenna now let's come to its structure how it looks this is the n type connector the n type connector is used to join the coaxial cables this is the inner conductor i said earlier epoxy resin is a type of resin to protect the antenna from hazards this is a metal spring and these are the ring electrodes grounding shell these grounding shells have zero potential with respect to other points here is a confusion what is difference between earthing and grounding in earthing the circuit is physically connected underground but in grounding it is not connected physically or directly it is ju it just has zero potential now let's come to its radiation pattern now the radiation varies with the perpendicular here is the loop and this line shows its maximum directivity and loop can radiate from any direction the radiation of loop is mostly n fire polarization of loop antenna the small loop antenna is generally a linearly polarized one when such a small loop antenna is mounted on top of a portable receiver whose output is connected to a meter it becomes a great direction finder the polarization of the loop antenna will be vertical or horizontally polarized depending upon the feed position the vertical polarization is given at the center of the vertical side uh, while the horizontal polarization is given at the center of the horizontal side depending upon the shape of the loop antenna advantages of loop antenna let's get enlightened with its advantage size is compact directivity is very high it is indeed compact in size you can mend the wire according to you has high directivity has maximum radiation disadvantages of loop antenna let's know its disadvantages impedance matching may not always be good very high resonance quality factor their impedance matching is a disadvantage not always good they have high resonance quality factor applications of loop antenna now they are very very useful if we know their application it is used in the applications of used in hf high frequency 3 to 30 megahertz used in vhf very high frequency 30 to 300 megahertz 
used in ultra high frequency 300 to 3000 megahertz used in microwave frequency also applicable in microwave range where they are used as field probes used in RFID devices RFID devices means radio frequency identification they are a type of tracking system that uses radio frequency to search used in aircraft they are used in aircrafts for direction finding thank you this was all about loop antenna i hope you have covered your doubts but you have any still doubt left then you can either comment down below or email us thank you stay safe stay healthy wear a mask use sanitizer